Reller. Here's the just the game, Tom Durkin with the call. Right, Palm Freight bounces right out of there. Quickly to the lead, Palm Freight. Mirabilis is away running in second. Ozone Bear is reined in. Wrangled back to the back of the pack along with Gorilla. So it will be Palm Freight who gets loose on the lead, and a big lead it is. Out there by five within the first furlong. Mirabilis runs in second. Gorilla under a hard hold, and Ozone Bear also. Well in hand as they continue their run up the back stretch. The opening quarter went in 24 and 4 fifth seconds over the off going here. And Palm Freed has opened up a seven or eight length lead now with five furlongs to go. And she didn't run particularly fast in that opening quarter mile. Mirabilis is second at a distant second on the outside of the gray ozone bear. And Gorilla still conservatively ridden with less than a half mile to go. Getting away with a half mile of 48 and 4 fifth seconds, totally isolated on the lead. Palm Frit bowling along with an eight length advantage. Ozone Bear, and now Mirabilis has been given her cue. And Gorilla is still in behind horses with a lot to do and only two furlongs to do it. And it's Palm Freet in front by four and a half at the top of the lane. And Gorilla has now been produced. And Gorilla is taking aim, trying to reel in Palm Freet. One furlong to do it. Three and a half length lead. Three lengths, two and a half lengths now. Down to the final 16th. Palm Freet. Here comes Gorilla with a thrilling finish. It's a photo. Gorilla got her. Gorilla got Palm Freights in a perfectly timed move under young Julian Lepero. Wow. A phenomenal performance by horse and rider in the Just a Game. Yes, Gorilla was the betting favorite, but she indeed had to have a great performance today to beat the pace setter, Palm Freites. How, how did she win this? How did she win this, I'll Gary? tell you what. There, there is a new Iceman has arrived in Julian Le Peru. <laughs> the patient. Beyond but Iceman. Believe me, this is why it's so hard to ride in these four-horse fields. She gets out in front here, and... Palm Fritz has this race one. Julian sits back here, gets a lead all the way. He wasn't trapped. They had split open for okay. him. He had room on the rail if he doesn't uh, split these horses. He wasn't trapped. He knew that this filly's only got an eighth of a mile run. The other two horses were his pacemakers. If he used Palm Fritz as his pacemaker early on, he's not going to have anything to finish with. And he probably would have got beat a neck instead of getting up and winning by a neck. And I talked about this filly's explosive move. You saw it there. Incredible. And Cornelia Velasquez, with such oh. a large lead, he doesn't know where Gorella is exactly at, but once Tom Durkin started talking about her making her move, this crowd rose up, and he had to hear the roar of the crowd and know that it was just a matter of time before he had contact here. What did he say? It's four. It's three. It's yep. two. It sounded like a blast off from right. a rocket ship, and that's what it was. And how about that? Matt Carruthers, in dramatic fashion, gets his <laughs> second single home in the big six. I know that's just a, a far-down subplot, because the real story here is Julian oh, Lepereau yeah. on a national stage. He gets to show his talents. And then look at the emotion there Patrick Bion Cohn receiving as Gorilla from, goes From motion. Marty Schwartz, the owner. I talked with Marty earlier today. He was a little disappointed with the ride that Julian gave him on Asse Sampre last uh, two weeks ago. And for that to happen to a young kid, when you have all this confidence behind you, it's not a great feeling. I talked with Marty earlier today. I said, listen, the kid will do what he's got to do. You know, if you have bad luck, you got to live and die with that good luck and the bad luck. And for this kid to ride a race like he did today in a grade two. It's got to be a special.